Well, we've been talking about this here all morning in the newsroom <laughs> earlier. Uh, the National Hot Dog Day. Yeah, it's today. a hot topic. <laughs> See, I can do bad transitions oh too. God, yes, you can. Uh, there are so many different ways to enjoy a hot dog, including all the toppings you have to put on it. Carlos Diaz breaking this down for us live in Irvington with people who also love a good hot dog. What's going on? Ben, I don't want to, I don't want to dog you out, Ben, but that hot topic thing was terrible. But anyway, hey, no, this is great because we're here at, the, just, it's an amazing place owned by Dave. Dave, it's a Chicago beef and dog company here in Irvington. And Dave, you guys have only been open for how long? So we've been open for three months now. And you guys are the number one rated hot dog on Yelp by the people of Indianapolis. Why do you think your hot dogs are better than most? Are better than all? Well, because it's Vienna hot dogs. Yeah. In, in, so. So, which is a staple in Chicago. Mm -hmm. um, they've been around for 126 years. And you can see the big ones right here. These are the. So these are my jumbo hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. are a quarter pound. I love that. Okay, so you're gonna teach me how to make a hot dog real quick here. Okay. Absolutely. All right. First off, what do you gotta do with the bun here? All right. So we're gonna throw our bun in our steamer. Yep. Boom. Right there. And press that button. Hold this button right down here, and then yep. you can see the steam happening. There you there. go. It's good to go. Okay. Wow. Wow, that's hot. Wow, hot, hot, hot. Okay. Now, what kind of hot dog we're gonna make? Okay, let's make a Chicago dog. Okay, so I grab this, yep. put this here, right here like that. All right, okay. and then we're going to flip that. Oh, so. see, up. Oh, so there's a correct way to put the dog on the bun. There you go. Okay, there we go. So oh. this is a Chicago dog. What are we doing with this? How, how, okay, what, now we're, we're going to take a strip of mustard. A strip of mustard on this side here. We're going to run it down the side. Okay, right on the side. So right like this. Okay, right. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What next? Now we're going to take our onions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cover up what we just did. Cover up the uh, the mustard. Got it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Keep All going. Right. Then take a scoop of relish. Scoop of relish. There we go. Thirty so seconds. On the other side. There we go. Okay. There we go. Right. Oh, relish. Look how fresh this relish looks. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Take two uh, tomato slices. Two tomatoes. Wow. Tomato slices. Okay. What are what are with those? On the relish. On the relish. Okay. There we right go. There. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take a pickle uh, skewer, puncture like your dill pickle. Okay. Wait, yeah, I know. I know. Where's this go? Just right on top. Right on top. There we go. What is this? This is celery salt. Celery yeah. salt right there. Boom. I like that. There we okay, go. We're going to take two sport peppers. Okay. There we stick go. Stick them in the ends. Stick them in the ends? Yep. Okay. I'll just do that. Okay. okay. There we go. Pull this down here. Do that. And guys, I give you a Chicago dog on National Perfect. Hot Dog Day. My first ever dog that I've ever made. It's just an amazing thing. Uh, guys, coming up later this morning, we're going to tell you what Hoosiers like on their hot dogs and what people all over the country like most on their dogs. It's coming up later on Sunrise. Back to you guys. <laughs> yeah, some interesting responses uh, coming up, Carlos. Hey, enjoy that hot dog for us. And, uh, man, it sounds good. They're in Irvington, a cool local spot. Got to support them. It looks good when it yeah. comes up that grill like that, like that. Well, stay with us. Uh, we're going to go to the circus with Can't Chuck wait. and his big adventure <laughs> after this break.